God is not the author of evil, but he will use good and evil for the good of those who love him and for his purposes. But he is a good God. Hi, my name is Amanda Barr. Welcome to my channel. I talk about faith and mental health through a biblical perspective and I'm delighted to have you here with me today. And I'm praying that what you hear from this short little video will bless you and bring you further in your own healing journey with mental health if you have a struggle with it in any way. A huge reason that the 10 plagues come and hit Egypt despite God demonstrating his power and his glory is the simple fact that Pharaoh's heart was hardened and he refused to let God's people go. Several times in the telling of the story in the book of Exodus, we actually read God saying that he will harden Pharaoh's heart. In fact, in Exodus 3:19, it reads, but I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless compelled by a mighty hand. And obviously that hand, that mighty hand is God's. We learn how God has already shared with Moses that Pharaoh will not let his people go unless God intervenes and does wonders to bring deliverance for his people. So this is something that's already foretold, but now we read that God will harden Pharaoh's heart. So which is it? Is God removing from this king his free will? Of course not. God just knows. He can foresee what will take place. God is outside of time and space. That Pharaoh will be relentless in keeping God's people from being delivered out of his hands is already foreseen by God. And there are other verses in the book of Exodus that reveal that Pharaoh actually is hardening his own heart, evidence that God is not removing his free will. So God hardening the Pharaoh's heart is actually God allowing his heart to be hardened. It is allowing the Pharaoh to actually have free will, yet the result will only be God's power and glory demonstrated to all. Quick plug here, friends. This video is pulling nuggets out of a podcast episode that I just released on my podcast show called The Brain Don't Family Podcast. I would love for you to catch the full lesson in its entirety by going to the link in the show notes of this video. If you like what you're hearing today though, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel. You have my permission to share this video with your friends. So now let's look at Jonah being sent by God to the nation called Nineveh, who were found guilty in their wickedness. They did some atrocious things actually to the people of Israel. Jonah was sent to warn the people of Nineveh about coming judgment to them. God ended up not allowing judgment to come against them because the people of Nineveh as a whole had a change of heart and they turned from their wicked ways and repented. So why didn't he harden their hearts so that he could actually bring judgment against them? Because the point is that God does not interfere in the free will of man, which is a gift that he's given us. And therefore he does not harden man's hearts. He just allows them to be hardened. And the same God, merciful, slow to anger, ready to forgive and terribly loving, is the same God that delivered his people out of Egypt. Understanding and knowing the heart of God by reading the word of God in its entirety helps us to interpret more difficult passages. Romans 8, 28 reads, and we know that those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose, God will use both good and evil for his purpose and for our good because God is good. God is not the author of evil, but he will use good and evil for the good of those who love him and for his purposes. But he is a good God. And with the Pharaoh, he chose to use the foreseen refusal of Pharaoh to let God's people go to demonstrate his power and his glory and to show his own people how far he will go to rescue and deliver them. And also a demonstration of what he... Go lay down.